So I've been trying to film this for the past two, three weeks, and I still got nothing. Um, I want to talk about Comic-Con. It was interesting, and it needs a lot of improvement. That's basically it. I have a lot more thoughts on it, if I had to be honest, but I feel right now it's really irrelevant at this point, especially since it's been such a long time since I wanted to initially talk about it. Um, but I think maybe I'll come back to it after I go to Comic World, which is the Korean anime convention. But Comic World is not going to be for another couple of months. So if I do decide to talk about Comic World, or, not, or well, I guess, yeah, if I do want to talk about Comic World or Comic Con, it would be around that time. Um, but at the moment of time, I really think that no one's really interested in what I have to say about that convention. Uh, but clearly from, you can tell from the timeline, that's not what I wanted to talk about. Uh, yeah, um, so I know that my main identity on the internet is that I'm a cosplayer, but clearly because I can't cosplay that often, because I have no sewing machine and stuff like that and everything's back home, I haven't really been that active, uh, online, which, you know, some people don't really give two shits because... Who the hell is this girl? But, um, yeah, I kind of really wanted to just share my experience and talk about some stuff, especially because I do know there are some friends of mine back home who didn't even realize that I moved to Korea for the past six months. Nice to know that I'm that I'm important to you. Um, but yeah, like, I kind of wanted to talk about it and also talk about some of the lesson plans that I've done, especially because I do have my sister who's for some reason interested in knowing what lesson plans I have done or even though she definitely is not going to become a teacher overseas. So yeah, um, in the near future I'm probably going to be just discussing or rather just doing some story time videos about my experiences in Korea and if you're interested in it feel free to kind of watch them in the future. And I'll also be talking about some of the lesson plans that I've done that has worked with my students and some of the student, uh, some of the plans that I've done that didn't work with my students. Um, so if there are any, if there really are any teachers out there or if there are any potential teachers who are interested in teaching, um, at least in a foreign country, may this may or may not be helpful for you in the future um just as a side note the age group i usually teach at is like 13 to 16 year olds so like the middle school age and um just because my content worked for my students it doesn't necessarily mean that's going to work for other students i do find that it really also depends on your co-teacher and it also depends if your school really wants you to teach more textbook oriented stuff or if they want you to design your own games or just make English interesting. So my schools are kind of the latter. They want me to just make English more interesting for them to want to learn. And that's usually my main goal. And I'm sure a lot of English teachers have that as their main goal as well. But because I don't focus on textbook, this might not be helpful for a lot of teachers who do focus their lessons around that. But if you are in a bind and you need kind of a filler, a filler lesson, I will be sharing that in the future. Um, if anything, it can just be for entertainment purposes about learning about how, I guess, this inexperienced teacher teaches students. Um, but yeah. That is basically it. I'm trying to keep this short because I do not want to edit it, this and you'll see all the mistakes that I make and yeah. I'm really good at public speaking. <laughs> okay, but until then, bye. This video is finally over and I will try to do another vlog in the near future and not make this another two to three weeks wait.